Hello there. It is a absolutely perfectly temperature day where I am, so I'm actually going to risk doing something else. And there's a little breeze, so things may blow around, but the bugs aren't attacking me yet. And this is a 36 inch by 12 inch by 2 inch gallery wrap canvas that has been calling my name, screaming my name actually, for a while. And I'm going to swipe it because I can. This is, this is my wet cotton t-shirt, mostly wrung out with the hem side down to the swipe and folded over for a nice little handle at the top. I'm going to just drag that down one end. I have some catcher paper, some Reynolds freezer paper with the plastic side up at the other end. If I use too much paint and I want to keep it, I've got a dog that wants to go in. He's going to wait a little while. Anyway, so I've got my spatulas. I'm going to try and remember to use those. I'm thinking about wider bands of color, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. I've undone my bottles of my squeeze bottles. I really do want to do those wider bands. So let's just start that way, shall we? No. Nope. Sorry, Oshi. Nope. Gonna have to wait. Nope. I had no idea he was over there. I thought he went in when the napping man went in. Well, if it comes down to it, I'll just go do that if I have to. But it's a nice day out here. He's not, he's not in any danger. Let's push some of that right over the side. It's not overly thick and it's not any wider than my usual. I'm going to move that over there. Oh, I already got some on there. No, you're going to wait. I can't pause my camera because I don't know how. <laughs> There's an excuse. No, you're just going to wait. It's not bad out here. It's actually pretty nice. It might still be in the 80s, but it's not sunny, which is a blessing to say the, to say the least. I have really loved these colors together. Maybe if I put them on nice and heavy, and I have set a timer, and I have glasses on my head. Yep, I'm, I'm well prepared, except for that dog barking in the background. Okay. I think I want to use some black in here. I know I want to use all the colors I usually use, so I'm just going to keep right on adding them. Hoping that my tips are clear. Doubling up. I think that purple will go just fine. I have a nice wet rag over here. Always have a nice wet rag if you're using a spatula. Yep, I'm not worried about those colors going together. You're not dying, dog. <laughs> you're really not. Now the only color that I didn't pull out, I want to pull out, and that is, well, I can wait for that. This gold, uh, excuse me, is red. And a little, little of that drip over on the side. This zigzag pattern has worked really well for me. If you've been keeping an eye on me at all, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to keep doing this. I might even be tempted to put a little white in there. It's a really long canvas, and that is a really irritating dog. But I'm really liking my colors. No, you can wait. You're not going to die. Certainly not, and no bugs are attacking you. He has a bug fetish. He, he thinks they're going to like eat him alive. He freaks out if he's out here too long, so nothing actually really bad is happening to him. He's just concerned with his welfare. All right, I'm liking this so far. I didn't put any gold in, but I think that means I can. I should, and I will. I haven't put that white in either. And I want some orange and that red. I don't have anything left in there. I think we'll just go for this. I like these two colors together a lot. I mean, they're really close, but it seems to make a huge difference. 
Oh, I got flow trouble gurus. Don't come out, don't come out. Just stay right where you are. Yay! I have been liking this. Makes a nice contrast. Where do I want that? Yep, right there is good. Let's put some of that up here too. We're getting ready. Oh, I'm excited. I think I'm just going to do that as well. Because I can. Because even though I'm not the world's biggest fan of yellow, it makes things nice and cheerful. Pops them. Pops them nicely. So much so, I'm going to put it up there. And, where else? Um, I have a bunch of lovely greens over here that I didn't bother pulling out yet. I'm going to take some of that. Yeah, let's, let's just think of this as the punishment for the dog for having just walked over into my studio and taken a good long pee on the only spot of sand outside of my rubber floor mats. All kinds of names have come to mind. It smells really good here right now. <laughs> good thing I don't plan on spending a lot more time outside. Okay, that's a bit clogged. I'm interested to see how much time we have left. I'm also interested in adding some more of that. I didn't put that red in there yet, I said. And I like the red because it's not orangey red. If I can find it, there we go. It's a very magenta red when it comes out. I made a absolutely beautiful swipe that everybody loved and I left it on an unlevel surface and it doesn't look anything like it did when we all liked it. And I would like to come as close to reproducing that as I can right now. You're not dying, dog. Let's have some of that. Yes. I don't think my zigzags are very uniform, but, you know, that's just the nature of the beast right now. You're a little pressured by a barking dog. Let's go for... That's kind of ugly down there. Hopefully I can fix that with something. I can fix everything with turquoise. Christ, I haven't pulled out much of my pink. You're not dying. Didn't put any white in there, but that doesn't mean I can't. I just lost my tip on my gold. No one is torturing that doggy in the background. He's just a natural born whiner. Actually, he's a pretty good dog for the most part, except for when this happens. Yes, let's do that. That'll help. I think we have plenty of paint in there. I think I'd like more black. I love the way black acts. I've never done one this long and I'm excited. I'm still excited. I hope we have enough time left to do this. I'm sure we do. Is that white? I kept talking about white. I have enough pearl left. Ooh, that might not have been where I really wanted to put that. But that's okay. You will survive. Swipes are a wonderful thing. You can really go to town screwing something up and still swipe it out. That is pretty. Most of my colors are not in my way. A lot of these colors have had golden iridescent pearl fine added to them not all some are color shifts by folk art that gorgeous purple in there or that gorgeous purple right there Ooh, I forgot my black white color haha <laughs> too busy talking all right and while this starts to pop I will go let the dog in because he's making me crazy I'm gonna take my swipe cloth like I showed you at the beginning and I'm going to make some more color go to the edge. And I'm going to do that with my finger. Fingers. Run that right up the sides. And I'm going to use my nice wet cloth and waste some paint. Now I'm going to dip that in there. And I'm going to let it become completely saturated for a second. And I'm going to say, on your mark, get set, go. Go slow. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. No, nope, I can't go back. We'll figure it out afterwards. Hi 
got a holiday. Just didn't put enough paint there, evidently. There is really, really, yes. There is really enough paint on this. I'm going to have to find a nice level spot for this to dry. This is popping nice. I see beautiful cells popping everywhere. I'm going to let this rag drip right down over the edge like I have in the past. Come on, just fall over. Bring your paint with you. Do the end. And if there's enough paint, oh yes, if there's enough paint, I'm going to start going down one side, putting that rag up against it. And we have that paint that was there to begin with that fell over, and hopefully that will allow us to have maybe enough paint for the other side also. We live in hope. Or there's always the fact that I do steal paint from different places, and it's not beyond me find a way to get some paint off the surface, surface of this painting over on those edges. I guess we'll see. Okay, this is my rag that I need to use on the other side. So what that means to you is it's time for me to try and switch this 36 inch canvas around, which has a wonderful stretch bar right in the middle of the back. And I only dripped on myself in a minor way. I'm really hoping I focused that camera, but I'm pretty sure I did. Let's just tap those into place. Dog, you are not dying. I promise you, you are not dying. <laughs> He's doing a very good impression though. Okay, there's enough color over there, so I think I'm just gonna slap it into the color that's there and use the wet rag. Yes, that worked nicely, honestly. Okay, how's our other end? Let's just do a little bit of that. Okay, I have a spider on my back. Oh, not my favorite moment. They're small. <laughs> Take two. Uh, okay, now I don't want this to be too unlevel down here. Dog, you need to stop that right now. I have some nice paint down on this end. I want that to be more level. That's not more level. What is more level? Oh, I had some nice runoff. Not very much. Wow. That's all the runoff I had from all of that. I'm going to use some of that over here because I can. Okay, so I guess that's more or less level, <laughs> somewhat. Let's see what I can do. Something, must be something. All right, I'm gonna touch up my black end. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Okay, I'm back. With a Charlie horse. Yeah, the house is not that close, but it's close enough to run to. I'm just gonna keep touching up the parts that I can see that don't have any paint on them with my finger along the edge and even along the top. I'm gonna check those corner edges, those seams, to see if I need something there. And then we're just gonna get my torch out. <sighs> I'm not really seeing that I wanna do a whole lot to this. It might be a little on the subtle side, but I like it. And we got a heck of a breeze. And I'm just going to take that as a hint not to use that right now. That's a brand new tank of propane and it's still idling me. <laughs> I'm thinking, let me think, let me think. I really like it the way it is, but, but we had very good success the other day with using a straw. I think I'm going to do it again. Because I like unearthing colors. Also, I might just take and see how thick that paint is. It's pretty thick. Waggle a skewer up through a few times. Not going too crazy. I saw somebody did one of these the other day and it was it was pretty nice but I think they went a little crazy with this cure just a little but it says we got four minutes left and I think you've seen it really I do and short of me trying to get some more cells to pop on the other end and cover my edges which you may or may not be able to be seeing me 
balancing this painting while trying not to drip on myself horribly. I'm getting paint all over myself, yes. Oh good. Wet cloths, I do love them. Even if they have a big lump of black paint that I am now taking a bath in. Okay, well, when this is over, you know what I'll be doing. Maybe I'll have a little wipe up before I go in the pool. I think this is gorgeous. I'd prefer not anything stick in it. Sorry about that on your ears. Um, I'm just going to keep looking for this purple color. And finding it. Maybe blow a few spirals in. I think that's a good idea. Just around in a circle. And when I come back to them, I can stick my skewer in and complete them if they're incomplete. Like that sort of stopped being a swirl when it started being a huge cell. Don't get me wrong, I really kind of sometimes I hate myself for taking the risk because it's so pretty and the patterns are gorgeous. I want to blow in there. There's nothing there. I think it's just going to continue to be beautiful. I'm surprised there's no gold there. You're probably going to run out of time with me. I do like how, even though we think the, the black sinks to the bottom and the white sinks to the bottom, even though there was nothing but a swipe color down at this end to begin with, there is now color down there seeping underneath everything. So I guess you just can't stop it. So, you never know what you'll find, and this is why I'm, <laughs> I'm a pouring junkie. You know I want to tip that. You know I do. I'm going to throw some spirals in there because that's my signature thing and y'all are welcome to it. You know who created it. Probably the universe. Not my responsibility. What else? Something over here. I see it. It's kind of naked. I miss the days when I was a teenager and I wanted to be well enhanced. I miss liking that the idea of that because now it's going to stick in my paint <laughs> no matter what I do. They're ever present. I still want to tip it a little bit. They don't seem to, it doesn't seem to be running down this end, so that's a good sign. If I could have it somewhat set up before I put it up on the racks to dry, I'd feel a lot more confident in a drying level. I really don't want to take a chance. I am. You're going to be gone in about, I don't know, 10 seconds, and I'm going to tip this just a little bit. And I, I know I'm usually a fast tipper, and this time I'm going to tip slowly. Boy, is that slow. Oh my god, people with more patience than me are meant to do this. That's your cue, and mine to say goodbye. Wish me luck. I'm gonna take my timer. I'm gonna torch it one more time. And you're probably gone. And if you're not, I'm gonna make sure you have a vision of this. Yeah, I think you were good. All right, we'll see you in the funny papers. Bye for now.